Hi everyone, I'm here with Vicky and Vicky is sharing with me lots of her travel expertise and experience and one of the things we were talking about is her number one travel tip for a particular country. So Vicky did share with me her number one travel tip um, that you might not be aware of when travelling to China. So Vicky, quite clear. do you share with us about the number one travel tip um, that you um, want to share with everyone about travelling to China that they might not be aware of? Yeah, so when I uh, travelled to China, which was now some years ago, it's almost 15 years ago, and it may, you know, it's a diff completely different country today, but I went through some very rural and industrial parts of China. And um, we, would we were in a place where there was a lake, and me and uh, the two people I was with, we wanted to, to get a boat to go round the lake uh, just as a little ride. And we found a fisherman and we were saying to him, can you take us around the lake and we'll give you money? So we were acting out because we didn't speak Chinese. He didn't speak English. So we were just like, we'll do all this. And um, we realized he didn't understand at all what we were trying to say. And it's because culturally in China, I don't think they use hands. You don't see it too much or in a different way. And they certainly don't mime in the way that we will mime <laughs> and say what we're thinking. Um, and uh, we tried this for ages. And um, eventually we did manage to get on the boat and it was really hilarious. And it turns out that the guy kept saying this word wobble eye and it means crazy English ladies. <laughs> Yeah. I love um, it. But uh, I think it's just really weird because you just kind of assume that people actually understand mime because you think it is it is the truly universal language that you can mime. So not but a given. Obviously out there in some countries, even miming is just not uh, an accepted form of communication. But so, we kind of assume yeah, it's so a really good reason to, to, to have a translation tool of some sort with you um, or, yeah. and or do some... Um, homework before you go about some of the keywords that you want to use. Yeah, yeah exactly. re really yeah. useful. All right, thank you very much, Claire.